I'm Beatrice Champagne. I'm with the Inter-American Heart Foundation, and I'm representing here the CAPCOT team that is working on communities. The objective of this soapbox presentation is to update you on the CAPCOT project. This is a project that we started talking about la at the last meeting and have been doing a lot of work already. It would be very nice to have feedback from you regarding the proposal as well as, as, well as getting suggestions for obtaining funding for this project. We have a very complex present. We have high prevalence of risk factors, under controlled risk factors, transition from unhealthy diets to unhealthy diets and sedentarism, increased tobacco use among young people and women. Uh, and we also have a fragmented response um, that does not match the burden. Um, we have actually um, much effort that is diluted in ineffective interventions. There is low reach of effective interventions. And even well-planned programs such as Carmen sometimes sputter with uneven government support and little, little or no participation of civil society. So what is CAPCOD? Um, it's a comprehensive community intervention to reduce chronic disease, targeting three risk factors. They're up there, intervening in multiple venues. And it's been developed under the auspices of Oxford Health Alliance and Yale University. There are some unique things. There are many programs out there. So what is unique about CAPCOT and why are we so passionate about moving forward with this program? One is that it focuses on structural interventions, policy and environmental modifications. Another one is that it's, it deals with proven interventions. And what we want to do is do those proven interventions at the same time in a community, in communities, in, in various sites. It's a common protocol and methodology and instrumentation across all sites. Um, it promotes sustainability locally in communities. It complements and expands other programs. It involves various partners, and, it ch and the change is directed by the community. Um, this is a, um, it, uh, it just a picture to give you an idea of the way that we are envisioning it, and it would involve youth groups, it would involve workplace um, healthcare teams, and so on. The objectives are to develop, implement, and evaluate comprehensive community interventions, to build theory-based interventions that focus on policy change, environmental change, community empowerment, and also novel incentive-based systems for lowering behavior change barriers, and also to develop mechanisms for outcome process and economic evaluation that may have wider applications in developing countries. So the progress to date in, in the first phase that we have already completed, we've done a lot of planning and development. Phase two is what we hope to be able to engage over the next couple of years in a pilot study in a few sites. And in phase three, three years out, is to expand to other sites. These are the current pilot sites. The evaluation would include process and outcome evaluation. And we have outcomes that it would involve health outcomes, behavioral and attitude change, as well as policy change. Um, and finally, I like to say that Oxford Health Alliance is very well positioned to be the main NGO impacting chronic disease, uh, disease globally. And CAPCOT is really the actionable arm of Oxford Health Alliance, implementing community level interventions to impact chronic diseases in developing countries. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you very much.